Good evening. My name is Dorian Lewis, and I will be a moderator for this evening's lecture. Welcome to another lecture given by the members of the Southfield Michigan class. This is a school, not a church, and neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a nonprofit, non-denominational, religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as a result of a divine vision and revelation given to our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kimley in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Southfield, Michigan class was established in 1997, excuse me, in 1997. The Dean of the Southfield class is Dr. Marvin Lewis. The president is Dr. Edward Ewell. I'm sorry, and the vice president, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I just drew a blank. The vice president is Dr. Ronald Atkins. Ron Atkins. Dr. Ron Atkins. <laughs> I was getting ready to say Edward Ewell, I'm sorry. <laughs> the dean of the Southfield Michigan class is Dr. Marvin Lewis. The president is Dr. Edward Ewell, and the vice president is Dr. Ronald Atkins. In this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit as they are contained in the original Hebrew texts. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted with Lord. The true title of the Word or Son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted with God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of a physical body is Yahshua. It has been erroneously substituted with Jesus Christ. Lord and God are titles and are not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is the title that our creator chose for himself. Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in a good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew, Greek, nor Latin languages have any letters or characters in their alphabet that would produce the sound that is made by this letter J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. Therefore, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state, He is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh in his pure spirit state symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape and form. We've drawn this cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you that everything on the chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Yahweh, knowing that man cannot perceive of him in this pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word or son, a super incorporeal being, that is, having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. This form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelations. Later on, the self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body and walked the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now, there is only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. Therefore, the simple yet intelligent question we should all ask ourselves is what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in the school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. 
It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him the tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of the most holy place, the holy place, and the court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we show proof that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern, and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. Our primary constitutional aims and objectives are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah without distinction of race, nationality, creed, sex, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and the powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, psychology, philosophy, and modern practical and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Sixth, to, not, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensations and ages. Seventh, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons, operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained, there is no other name given among men whereby man can be saved, saving the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. And tenth, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua, the Messiah, with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace, and our slogan, speak the truth. And at this time, we will have a prayer given by Dr. Kim Johnson. I think that's who that is. <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, sorry. I'm outside of my car. But um, um, I just want to thank Yahshua for allowing us to be here, to be able to tune in, to hear what he has to say. Um, I thank him for even through everything that each one of us is going through or just dealing with in this day and time, that he has truly still allowed us to be here at this moment. I'm really appreciative and thankful for his grace and mercy that he has bestowed upon us, for his keeping power, how he has kept us mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, and I just want to, to thank him, truly just thank him um, for this day and for this moment, um, to not take it for granted. And just for him to allow, to keep us mindful of his ever present in everything that we do. I'm asking him, to keep my mind on him, to learn how to ask him for any and everything, no matter what it is, just what's his purpose in everything that I encounter, whether it's job, in this life, whatever it is. Um, and just for us to just be thankful. And with all of that, I just say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. And uh, we are 
I'm going to get right into the lecture because it is a long one. We'll be right up against the wire. We should finish though. So this one is, oh, sorry. This one is uh, on SoundCloud, it's take 12, Dropbox number 43. I'm going to read the synopsis real quick. This is the one that the transcribers just released. I believe it was last week. Uh, it's a complete lecture. There are no clues as to the specific date. Following topics are discussed. Don't be expecting to remain here in this earth plane without any problems. It don't work like that. It's not supposed to. Everyone says, well, now they're so-and-so and so-and-so in class. Now they're not what they ought to be. And for the very fact that you're talking about them, it proves that you're not what you ought to be. If you were, if you was, you wouldn't be talking about them. Now I tried and tried and tried to tell you that the satanic spirits were cast out of heaven and they were cast down to the earth plane. Now listen, they are incarnated in physical bodies posing as popes, cardinals, archbishops, bishops, priests, reverends, doctors of divinity. See, you just name it. Yahweh knows you by the name you have. And Yahweh has the earthly names of everyone that has ever been or will be born written in his book. But that is not the heavenly name. Every bit of the sperm that ever took on shape and form, see, was present and accounted for with him before ever you came into the world. He knows what you're going to do, what you're going to be, and what not. He knows you by name. Pharaoh's daughter and Moses' parents agreed on his name. Yahshua is the resurrection and the life, present tense. Mary and Martha saying that they believe that the resurrection would come at the end is like Jehovah Witnesses and others believing the Messiah is going to come in the future. If we ever understood that Yahshua did not die on the cross to save any physical body, that would do away with racial segregation and desegregation issues. Both pre-millennium and post-millennium Christian religious doctrines are wrong. This is illustrated by comparing these concepts to the tabernacle pattern. God is spirit. You heard me. And for, that inf and for your information, he never did die and never will. No, this is Yahshua that's nailed out here on this cross, not Yahweh. Yahweh was manifested in that body. That was a sacrificial body for Yahweh to manifest himself in. Yahshua did die and resurrected, sown a natural and raised, a, and raised an incorporeal and went right straight back to where he came from and is now in all of us. And that is the part of us that's not going to die. All right. We're going to begin the audio now. As always, uh, mute your... Uh, Turn your volume down as the audio begins, and then you can turn it up to your liking once we start playing. Uh, the quality of this one in the beginning is not that hot, you know, so you might have to listen a little closer. And then on your own time, read the scripture reading, which is 2 Thessalonians, second chapter. And now we will begin. And it will be taken from the second chapter of 2 Thessalonians. <laughs> I'm always happy and glad to testify of the ever present of the Lord. He's always present. Look at me. You know, I'm deeply concerned about the people understanding how to go about understanding their Bible. And that's what, uh, and the very reason why I got it to. You know, uh, in getting books, commentaries, passed out by the reputable denomination, now there's there's no way for me to tell you only just not beat around the bush. Right. Just come right straight out and tell you what I'm talking about. Get the point. Right. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Okay. Okay. Now what I'm talking about, what I was talking about, I was saying pass our book. Just a whole lot of literature in the country flooded with a lot of literature and a lot of adherence to a faith. If you pick up some of that books and read it, like Jehovah's Witness, 
See, now I have to come right out and tell you what I'm, what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. See? Now, there's just no sense in me beating around the bush about that. Mm -hmm. See? Now, I allow as much for them to say about me. And we have permitted them to come right in this book and dispute anything I say or anything I teach. And we've done it for years and years and years. And I have never heard from nobody. I am not a coward. That's right. I will go into anybody's church, anywhere on earth, at any time, and preach the gospel. I'm not afraid of my intellectual capacity and my knowledge of the scriptures defeating my purpose and I'm not going to manifest my age. So much so I feel, uh, what you might say, depressed and have fear to speak to people. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. I'm real sure I know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> Right. And you can't do nothing with it. <laughs> and I invite you to try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? In other words, listen, I've challenged the world. Now this thing that's talking about you is uh, supposed to go in all the world and preach the gospel and every creature. You see? Then go over here in some cult and hide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You won't associate with nobody. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? You're afraid to get up and say anything. Mm -hmm. Right. You see? Now to me, that's a lot of foolishness. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of ignorance. Mm -hmm. And it demonstrates and manifests that you don't know what you're talking about. In fact, the matter you just don't—you you don't believe what you're saying. Right. Now we've had a lot of that down here, and the reason why we've had a lot of it is because we try our best to get it over to you that this is a school. Now it's expedient for you to come to school. You see, and when you do come expect to hear something that you don't know nothing about or you don't understand. Now this is the place to come. That's right. <laughs> now you're not out of order because you don't know. See? Now we that do know know that you don't know. That's the way it is. <laughs> now the reason why I say these things is because so many people, they call me from one time to the other on the telephone. And they say to me, well, Dr. Kennedy, it just looks like to me like that, uh, I can't get over this and I can't get over this and I've got problems and problems and this and that and the other. It bothered me, you see. Well, now listen, folks. You don't need to expect to uh, remain here in this earth slave without any problem. Mm -hmm. All right. It don't work like mm -hmm. that. All right, uh. Not supposed to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, indeed. And when you get around to the place where you don't have no problems, mm -hmm. no worries, you see, you understand? Nobody to be provoked with and best with. You understand? <laughs> you see? Now you just rest assured you're wrong. Right. <laughs> right. And I noticed another thing too. A whole lot of talking about somebody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Didn't want to say, well, now they're so-and-so and so, and so mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. See, now they're not what they ought to be. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And for the very fact that you are talking about him, it, it proves that you are not what you are. Right. If you were, you wouldn't be talking about that's right. Get around here. A whole lot of these problems could be solved if we just stop and think a little bit. And if you were so sure that somebody was wrong, <coughs> see, and if you wanted to be any help, mm -hmm. Why not just go to them and tell them? Okay. Right. That's right. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be better? Yes. Yes. Yes, and a high priest, uh, the Messiah, said this. Mm -hmm. He said, when you go to the altar, tell the Jews under the dispensation of God. And I'll be back in a few minutes, and, and we'll just straighten out with this book. <laughs> Now what we intend to do is this. We intend to teach. Yes. See, now I didn't get up here to do what you call preach. Mm -hmm. Notwithstanding, true teaching is preaching. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what it is. True teaching is preaching. <coughs> <laughs> but the thing of it is, as I just started to say, they under the dispensation of the law. Now this was to the Jews. That when you come to bring your gift to the altar. And you remember that your brother has all against you, or you have all against your brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that leave your gift. That's right. That's right. Leave it right there. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. try it off. That's right. Just leave it there. Mm -hmm. Then you go to that person that. Uh, that had all against one another. You mm -hmm. tried to straighten the thing out, be reconciled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> See? Now, I didn't say go to the priest. He was already standing like that. Mm -hmm. the that you need to get with him and go see the, the, the right. person that took the fence. That's mm -hmm. right. That's him. See? Didn't say confess to the priest. You understand? <laughs> we want to get these things straightened out. Right. That's right. Nothing in no book about confession, nothing no priest. That's right. True. See? That leave your gift at the altar, go your way, mm -hmm. and be reconciled with your brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then come and take up your gift and all. Mm -hmm. That's the law. That's That's the law. That's there. Now, if you go to your brother and he will not become reconciled with you, mm -hmm. or he won't hear you, mm -hmm. then what you do then is to go and get a witness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go back. And try it that way to get the thing straightened out. Mm -hmm. Now then, if he won't hear that, <coughs> see, then see, bring him before the whole group. Mm -hmm. Then if he won't hear that, okay. what are you yeah, supposed to do? Get it. You see? Mm -hmm. Said then lay me unto thee mm -hmm. as a publican, mm -hmm. yes. see, <laughs> or a heathen. That's right. mm -hmm. That just about would make all of them heathen. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no wonder David said, oh, yeah. Why did the heathen rage and imagine a vain thing? Yeah. <laughs> now, instead of doing that under the dispensation of the law and doing uh, something similar to that over here, you see, that's not the way, that's not the way you do it. You see, that's not the way, that, that's not the way we do it. We go over here and tell everybody else something about the other fella. In other words, just plain downright bad about it. Exactly. See, say, did you hear the latest? <laughs> so and so and so and so. Then they'll go to somebody else and say, did you hear the latest? And then, then they just pass it on. That's right. See? Then when it gets back around to you, you don't, you don't know where it is. That's right, Dan. Now that, you know what that is? That's a root of bitterness mm. right. springing up among you, whereby many are defiled. Okay. That's right. That's not the way to do it. Now James puts it like this. Confess your faults. We'd rather die than to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? That's you know, right, Doc. That's that okay. don't fall one to another. Right. That you may be here. Right. He didn't say confess it to the priest. Right. Maybe you better read that. James 5, 16, so we can get this thing straight. <laughs> Confess your faults one to another. Confess your faults one to another. And pray. Now wait just a minute. Now this comes up from what I just told you about. You see. Well, besides faith, when you come to bring your gift to the altar, and you remember <coughs> that you and your brother that uh, 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 yeah. You see, he said, now go back and, and uh, uh, be reconciled with him. He didn't say quit speaking to him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> see? Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the way, that's the way we usually do. That's right. That's the truth. That's the truth. See, we won't say nothing to them. We're going down the street and say something to somebody else. Uh -huh. Now, James says, confess your false one to another, that you may be healed. Now, somebody, right this night, is having problems. Mm -hmm. See? Because they won't admit mm -hmm. that they're wrong about that's something. That's right. That's right. And you'll Don. never make it over the hurdle. All right, Don. That's right. You'll That's right, Don. Tell it like it is. Mm -hmm. That is true. See? Mm -hmm. Now, that's the thing that's wrong with the most people. <laughs> they swear by all that is holy that they are right mm -hmm. and just as wrong as they can That's be. right. So true. See? Then they know it. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, no, right down deep in your own heart that you're wrong. Right. But you wouldn't admit it, you wouldn't confess it mm -hmm. to save your life. Mm -hmm. That is true. That's true. That's true. Yes, sir. To the person that, uh, uh, that the offenses occurred. That's yeah. Right. Now, which oftentimes is a man and his wife. Mm -hmm. See, sometimes it's his neighbor. Mm -hmm. Or someone else, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. And he'd rather die and go to hell. That's right. Mm -hmm. make him cry. As they say about Marlboro, he'd rather fight than switch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it, boy. You see what I mean? <laughs> Now, the devil's got it all tightened up like that. See? Now, if you look into what I'm saying to you, 
You find it'll help you out in your everyday life around your own house. Mm-hmm. All of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. It helps you over some of them problems. Mm-hmm. You know, it takes a pretty honest person. Mm-hmm. And then you have to kind of meditate a little bit. Mm-hmm. You have to kind of find out something about what's right. Yeah. yeah. That's right. right. See? That is to true. know when you're wrong. That's mm-hmm. true. See, there's a whole lot of people deceived. Mm-hmm. They think they're right mm-hmm. when they're wrong. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, you ask right. to most people, say, say this, uh, what is right? Mm-hmm. Let's throw it back on the church. Mm-hmm. People will say, well, what church is, what, which church is right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? That I'm searching for the truth. <coughs> now, which church is right? Now, first of all, that person don't know what the church is. Mm-hmm. And he hasn't got time to wait you tell him. He wants you to answer, uh, 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 point out something. Some church is right. Now, if you take it like it really is, there isn't any of them right. Secular Christianity is a failure. Right. Now somebody will raise up and say, listen, I've been a Christian all my life. What's that man talking about? I remember when my dungeon shook and my chains fell off. That's true, though. But I and they'll quote you out of the Bible. Said I'm like the Apostle Paul. That I'm persuaded that neither height nor depth nor stature nor power, nor thing present nor thing yet to come, shall separate me from the love of Christ. <laughs> See, anybody can quote the Bible. Right. The devil himself did that out there in the room. <laughs> Do you see through what I'm talking about? And that is the way we go on, confused, deceived, stubborn. Right. You understand? What the old folks say, slang West, speaking of that downright bullheaded, right. determined, <laughs> you see, self-righteous, mm-hmm. see, nobody right but me. <laughs> Everybody got to hear me, because, see, I'm right. But then if you ask somebody else what they thought about that character, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to hear the story. I wouldn't like to hear <laughs> Now, this, the, the apostles and Joshua the Messiah is talking to Israel. Now, let me show it to you plain. See, now the high priest and the king was the highest tribunal or the highest authorities that there was in Israel. <laughs> Do you understand? They were instructors of the people. So, the high priest, now listen. The high priest, under the dispensation of the law, see, the reason why it wouldn't do me any good to go and tell him about your fault. Mm-hmm. Because, first of all, he had faults of his own. <laughs> and he had to offer up a sacrifice for his own self, first before he offered up one for the people. He was a fit to do it. Do you see what I mean? So now, when you get right down to it, it would do well for us to consider this. 
I tried and tried and tried to tell you that them satanic spirits was cast out of heaven and they were cast down to the earth place. Now listen, they are incarnated in physical bodies. Right. Poles as popes, cardinals, archbishops, bishops, priests, reverends, doctors of divinity. See? You do this name. Quoting mm -hmm. scripture, eloquent in oration. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Quoting the Bible verbatim. Able to shed a few tears. That's right. Almost stand your hair on your head. And the things he presents to you, and listen, in your carnal mind, they seem like they're right. That's right. right. <laughs> Look at Proverbs 16, 25, and 14, 12. <laughs> now look, uh, Dr. Harris, you read 16, 25. And uh, Dr. Gross, you read 14, 12. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. There is a way. Now it seems like it's right. Right. To a man. <coughs> but the end thereof. But the end of that way. Are the ways of death. Are the ways of death. Mm -hmm. Is that all that verse? That's all mm -hmm. right. Now I want you to read your verse. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. Say, are you reading the same verse he read? Yeah. Where did you read? 14, 16, Proverbs 16, 25. Where are you reading? Uh, probably 14, 12. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Evidently, it must be, it must be so. Yes, sir. See? Yes. It, in other words, it isn't anything else but repeat. Mm -hmm. There, you haven't finished reading it yet. But the end thereof. No, read the whole verse. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Now listen to what I'm going to say. Make sure you hear it. From the fall of Adam, that kid in the dark, believe. See? Oh, now. On that, from the fall of that, man's mind was carnal. See, he didn't think in spiritual terms. You, see? you know what I mean by carnal? His mind was depraved. See. In other words, he had a, a guilty, complex conscience. Mm -hmm. See? There wasn't anything he could do about it. Nothing. He just had. I'm talking about the Eidetic transgression. You see what I mean? Now, as we come on down through the dispensations of ages, it's a, maybe you better read that, what I just said. Uh, Romans 14, uh, 5, 14. 
14, uh, 12, 5, 12. Now listen to what we're reading. Wherefore, Wherefore, as by one man, as by one man, that's Adam, sin entered into the world. Sin entered into the world by one man. And death by sin. And death by sin. And so death passed and upon. And so death passed upon all men. For that all have sinned. For that all have sinned. For until the law, uh, for until the law, sin was in the world. Sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed. But sin is not imputed where there is where no there law. is no law. Nevertheless, nevertheless, that's right. Death Wait a minute. That's right. <laughs> All right now. See. <laughs> See. Now. Out here, coming on down, mm -hmm. you see, it was Adam that was told not to touch the, the fruit of the tree. Mm -hmm. right. You understand? Right. Yeah. And that disobedience began. <laughs> that, you understand what right. I'm talking about? Now, it wasn't Cain and Abel. That's right. That's right. See? But, but back here. <laughs> see? Depraved conscience. A uh, guilty conscience. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. Listen here. Even over them that had not sinned. Now there's always somebody wants to talk about how righteous Abel, how good Enoch was. He was so good until he uh, walk with God and was translated. We want to come on down and talk about Abraham. We want to talk about Isaac. We want to talk about Jacob. And you want to talk about Moses. You understand? Right. You want to talk about the prophets. You see? But death reigned over the whole thing. Okay. From Adam to Moses. Now listen. After the similitude of Adam's transgression, mm -hmm. see? Now, just read that and not understand it. Don't mean a thing. <laughs> see, you just read something, that's all. Now, it wasn't his posterity that had to, that was told not to touch the tree. It was that. See? And death was appointed upon him. You see? And all the rest of them are here. You see? After the submission to what happened back here. Okay. See? Even over them that had not sinned or wasn't back there in the garden. <laughs> Now that's the first test. Now the only cure for that, just one cure for, and that's it, all the rest of the second test. All right. Yeah. The cure for that. Am I, am I doing any good? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I making the thing clear? Yeah. Now I said, well, there is no law. See, the law was back with Adam back here in the garden. Mm -hmm. You see? You know, he preached and told them what the, the, the Yahweh said about coming into the earth and that he was going to destroy the world. You see? And before that, Enoch, the seventh from Adam, preached the gospel. Mm -hmm. Right? And told the people back at now that's before the flood. Mm -hmm. That's right. That was before the seventh from Adam was before the flood. And he preached. And listen, folks, a lot of people don't know it. 
Okay, somebody rush out and say, look, I'm going out and I'm going to buy the book of me. <laughs> you see? No, you are not. See, you wouldn't have even known anything at all about it. You wouldn't know nothing about Noah. <coughs> See? You wouldn't, you wouldn't have known a, th a thing about it. Had it not been that Yahweh revealed it to Moses. Mm -hmm. And Moses wrote down what you wouldn't know about it. Mm -hmm. No one ever wrote a thing. Enoch never wrote nothing. You see? Well, on down to the back of Moses. <coughs> well, somebody said, well, what about the book of Jasper? Mm-mm. Most never wrote that either. Right. You want to know who wrote that? Yahweh himself wrote it. And look, folks, if we just only realize this one thing, it's a hard thing to make people understand the thing. See, everybody that there is on this earth plane and ever has been or ever will be, are you listening now? Yes. You real sure you're listening? You sure you're listening? I don't care nothing about your aliases either. You know what I mean by that? Somebody change the name. <laughs> Yahweh knows you by the name of Carl F. Brooks. He knows you by Robert Ash. He knows you by Leonard Schnellbaker. <laughs> Get the phone. Now somebody wants to jump up and show how smart they are. They say, look, I'm a Negro. I was brought into this country. And I've taken the names of the slaveholders. <laughs> See? So we're going to change your name, <coughs> see, to you soft eggs. <laughs> uh, soft, you understand what I'm talking about? A uh, lovey-dovey or something. <laughs> now this is what men are doing. <laughs> They're giving you names. Again? Yes. And they exploit you with that. Mm -hmm. And go back and tell you, well, look, this, this, is a, this is the situation. And tell you those things. The trap, now the devil used every conceivable trick in the book, mm -hmm. see, to fool you with. But in this book of Jasper, mm -hmm. or the book of the upright, mm -hmm. or the book of Elohim, or the book of Yahweh you know him. Are you listening at me? Mm -hmm. See? He knows you by that name. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. Slaveholder or what have you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And all the alliances that you can get on. He knows them all. Mm -hmm. Now get what I just said. I'm showing you, this is what I'm showing you. So you don't miss it. See, every bit of the spermatoid that ever, you see, from Adam on okay. down, every bit of the sperm that ever took on shape and form that has ever been born in this world or ever will be born in this world, Yahweh has in advance. That's right. That's right. His name wrote in that book. That's right. Before right. he ever appears on the scene. That's right. Okay. Yes. You don't, you don't, you, you, you want me to prove that? Do you want me to prove yeah, that? Yeah, all right. No. 
Now look. Let me let me let me give you a demonstration, and then I'll prove. <laughs> See, when he spoke to Moses mm -hmm. at the burning bush. Mm -hmm. Now Moses, the name Moses means he's drawn out, mm -hmm. drawn out of the water. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning of his name. And say, look, while well, I'm on that, I think there's something else I, I've been laying off to tell you about. All right, now. Okay. See? All right. And since uh, uh, Brother uh, uh, Wilson uh, told you about Hallelujah, you see, which the people are saying all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> See, hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, they're, they're singing it all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you try to tell them that's his name, <laughs> See, they, 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 they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. Now let me show you something else about that name. About that name. Since I told you Moses means drawn out. Pharaoh's daughter drew it out of his Her servant drew him Moses out of the water. Mm -hmm. And he was called Moses, which means he was drawn out. See? Now there's a whole lot of argument about whether it's a Hebrew name or an Egyptian name. I'll assure you of one thing. Y'all may know. Now, let me show you about the name. Uh, Freddie, I, I think maybe you better do this. See, because I can't do the one thing at a time. And I don't want these folks to lose the continuity of thought. Now, I'm talking about Yahweh knowing you by your name. <laughs> See? All right. It's Jeremiah. <laughs> then right eyes <I> there. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 yeah, my, my, yeah. right, I did. Right, I did. Easy, girl. Yeah. See? Hold it. Elijah. You, you got some of them down. Now look, suppose you just change this I to Y as it is done. Change them up. See, now this air he loves. So it's Yahweh, he loves. Air. See, translate it's God. See, hold this. See, and Moses called O'Shea. O'Shea. <laughs> the son of Nun, Joshua. Yes, right. Yes, right. All right, you. Take it. 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 Take you see, when you really understand what it is all about, see, Yahweh knowing and having sent them in the world, knowing their names, you understand, and recorded in his book, 
see, and bearing his name, see, before him. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see? You see now? And oh, it is. See, which is gospel. Now listen. Are you listening at me real close now? You sure you're listening? Yes. See? Now since you say that your name is uh, Robert Harris, we said your name was Leonard Snellbaker. We said your name is Carl F. Gross. Now some idiot wants to come along and, well, I, I stand you the side there a little bit, see? And I'll take friends, you see? See? And we'll say that, but you, you, got the, you adopted the names of the slaveholders. You see? So then we're going to change your name from Bob Harris to Eustop. <laughs> X. See? And friend, we're just going to change your name to Y subsex. See? We don't want none of the same old name. We're going to name you this in our opinion. See? Now I want to tell you the truth about the thing. You see? All of it. Don't make no difference what color you are. Don't make no difference. See that new man that he's going to give you, put in your forehead, in your, in your, you see, like the, let me see whether it holds something. So I can tell you what I'm talking about. I thought I had my point yesterday. You see, let me find it. Let me see if I can find the high priest on it. See, well, we just call this, uh, it's a bigger thing. You see, it's so that you can see with the garments for beauty and glory. <laughs> Can you folks in the back see it? Now, I tell you what I'm talking about. You can't see from back there. He wore a bonnet, mm -hmm. a mitre. Mm -hmm. Well, get up and show him that thing. He wore a mitre, you see, mm -hmm. uh, on his head. Mm -hmm. See? Now, in that mitre was these words, holiness unto Yahweh mm -hmm. in his forehead. That's what was that. Now that was to reflect and show you that you bear the name, the true name of your heavenly Father in your forehead mm -hmm. and in your hand. Everybody. Okay. All called by the same name. All it is in heaven and all it is in earth. Now you want me to read that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Got that read. <coughs> oh, that's one thing. Yes, it is. When you know what it is all yes. about. That's in that. See, that's why he wore that. Didn't he give you a little stone, tri stone, yeah. you see, and his name would be in your forehead, and in your, is that right? Now listen, now listen, the whole family, angels and all, we speak of Michael and Gabriel, Rachel, and other angels, you understand? But the whole family in heaven and earth. See, Gabriel is a name of identity. Right. You see, that he's identified by. See, he is a messenger. Michael is a wife. Or he bears his sword. You see? You understand? And he's identified by that name. You understand? Right. To the people uh, on earth, yeah. and to them that are in heaven, you understand? As identity of that individual name. Yeah. Just like when Yahweh spoke to Moses on earth, yeah. you understand? I'll check this burning book. See? He called him Moses. <laughs> Moses. See? 
He called him by the name and said, Chuck your bed and uh, Amran and Pharaoh's dog. He agreed all. You understand what I'm talking about? Then to let Moses know he wasn't making no mistake, got him confused and mixed up with somebody else. Said, I know your old man. That I am the Lord of the God of your father. Jack the bed. You see? Right. And reaching on back said Abraham mm-hmm. and of Isaac and of Jacob. But they didn't know me by this name. They knew him by the name of Almighty Provider. Why did they know him? He provided or created a heaven and earth and all the necessary provisions yeah. for the angelic host. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? And all the necessary provisions of making an earth and populating it. You understand? Right. And putting food and raiment and shelter and giving the man right. intellectual ability to know how to handle it. That's right. Yeah. And he enlightens everybody that comes into the world. That's the first chapter of St. John. And everything is made as it is made to cut off your excuse from your diabolical and ignominious stupidity. That's all right. All right, now. Yes, sir. You all have a thing to say about you. God, if I knew he was coming out of bed to get But all the evidence is right there, hanging yeah. right on right. you. Yeah. That's right, Doc. But you are made yes. in the likeness and in the image. That's it. Have you found it? Yes, sir. Uh, in Exodus 28, 36. Exodus 28, 36. And thou shalt make a plate of pure gold. Thou shalt make a plate of pure gold. Engrave upon it. And engrave upon it. Like the engravings of a signet. That's a, like the engravings of a signet. Holiness to Yahweh. Holiness unto Yahweh. And thou shalt put it on a blue lace. And thou shalt put it on a blue lace. That it may be upon the mitre. That it may be upon the mitre. Upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be. Upon the forefront, that means up across here. Right. Forefront of the mitre. And it shall be upon Aaron's forehead. And it shall be upon the high priest's forehead. That Aaron may bear the iniquities of the holy things. That an Aaron may bear the iniquities of what? Of the holy things. Of the holy things. The children of Israel shall hallow in all their holy gifts. See that now? You see? Now, are you following me down? Yes, sir. See? Now, let, let me see if I can give you a switch over now. A right quick switch over. See? Then maybe this ought to help. See? Now somebody wants to set up a crown. Instead of having holiness under Yahweh in it. Now you can get busy. <laughs> no, I, I told you I'm teaching now. Right. Instead of him having holiness unto Yahweh, as reflected by the high priest by church, you see. That ain't what he got in here. Mm-hmm. He got in here because this silly idea. Right. Mm-hmm. Michael, the son of God. Mm-hmm. That's what he had on him. That's right. That's right. I'm talking about the Pope. Yeah, that's right. You say? Mm-hmm. You see them hats and cardinals and then the what? Yes. The coronations. <laughs> you see? That's where they got the idea from. You see? The priests and then, you see? Six, 
Six, six. Now look, folks. <coughs> Yahweh worked six days and created the man. Now that's an earthly man. Six. <coughs> that is not the heavenly man. Mm -hmm. See? So now, when you get this six, when you get this six, six, six. See, now this is what you got. Well, you ripped it off, didn't you? No. You see, you got the dispensation from Adam to the flood. From the flood down to the crucifixion. See? And from the flood, from, and, and in this present age. See? See? Is there, is there any way you can fix it? Yeah, that's right. See? Now, you turn over to the 13th chapter of Revelation and the 18th verse. Now I said, here is wisdom. Now if you're smart, you see, if you're real good and smart, see, and you think you know so much, you see, and you always want to show off. Now here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding. Now, if you see, let him that hath understanding. Count the number of the beast. Count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. For it is the number, are you getting this a man? Yeah. <laughs> see. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 600. And his number is six. Hundred three score six. and six. Mm -hmm. You say? Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. Are you looking at that now? Yeah. No, I am not. Sure. Revelation thirteen eighty. Yeah. <laughs> you see? Revelation thirteen eighty. See? Now that is what the Apostle Paul was talking about uh, in the lesson that he read here yeah. right. in 2 Thessalonians. Yeah. All right. Now, you, you, you found that. Now, I want you to find in the book where that name is in the forehead and in the hand. I think you find in the 14th chapter of Revelation. In the board. And I looked, and, and I looked. Revelation 14, 1. Look. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. I, I, I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Zion. And with him a hundred and forty and four thousand. And with him a hundred and forty and four thousand. Having his name. Had, having his name. And his father's name. And his father's name. Written in their forehead. You see that now? All right. You see? You see whose name's in their forehead? Yeah. See? Now, I tried to tell you about it. So we can be more conscious. Now, I don't have to go back in the law and prove this to you. See? I don't have no business over here in Revelation. And see? Now look, listen folks, listen clean is what I'm saying. Listen clean is what I'm saying. And here's how you get fooled. And here's how you get deceived. And this is why I spoke about Jehovah's Witnesses. See, and Roman Catholics too. And other Protestants. Now here's how you get fooled. See. Uh, that text, you could better read Isaiah 8, uh, uh, 20, and you get uh, uh, John 5, 38, and 9. Now listen, if you never paid any attention before, try listening now. All right. 
to the law and to now the this is, You see, this is Isaiah, God. You got it now? Yeah. To the law and to the Now listen, said to the law and to the testimony. Now here, here's the importance of that. See? Now, the devil will come along and say, well, now look, we're not living under the law now. We're living under the dispensation of grace. You know, the witnesses are doing it. Roman Catholics are doing it. See? That's why all the wars and the strivings and the fight and the murder and the sedition, the hypocrisy and the false prophecy, you see, is coming from. You understand? Because they will not, see, if they knew, and if they did like they was told, to go back there and know what's in this law. Ain't no way under the sun that you preach the gospel without knowing what's That's in right. the law. That's right. See? Then you have to go in the law to the prophecy. Yes. Sir. I did, yes, my. Mm -hmm. See? Mm -hmm. And there will be no preaching, none, mm -hmm. until you do that. Uh -huh. That's right. Right. See? Now, why? The question is why? If they speak not according to this word. Now, look. If they don't speak according to this word, then what happens? It is because there is no light in them. Ain't no need you standing around crying. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And sweating and shedding tears, you understand? And all like that. I'm talking about what Jesus said. Yeah. And ain't no need of that. Say, it ain't gonna do it no good. See, you don't know what it's all about, and you don't know what he's doing. That's right. See, if you don't know what's in the law, and you don't know what's in the prophecy, I don't care nothing about how many books you write. See, and how smart you think you are. And you talk about you living under the Holy, uh, in the new dispensation, under the dispensation of grace. And look, them stand in it, they stand up there doing the things that were done under the law. That's a fact. And hey, it wasn't doing that. That's a fact. For example, see, for example, the present day so-called Jews, instead of them offering up the sacrifices that was offered up under the law, you understand, at the Passover, getting the blood of the bulls and the goats and the heifer and the turtle dove, are offering up the sacrifice. I'm talking about the Orthodox Jews of today. You got big children and chicken. <laughs> 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 See the point? Yes, sir. Get some blood. <laughs> <laughs> See? But when that lamb was off that down there, now the bone of him broken. Yeah. Right. What you doing with the chicken bones? <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> And if it didn't do no good back here, boom, mm -hmm. and blood of blood, it <laughs> ain't gonna have it over here. You, know? <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah. Now, what I'm trying to tell you about is that's faith. See? Now, if you don't want faith, see? And you don't want to come up to it, and you want to have some other doctor. Now you listen to me. You go to the lake. That's right. See, somebody said, well, I'm not going to. I will be damned if you don't go. 
Yeah. All right, Doc. Yes, sir. You always said that. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That they will be destroyed or damned. Yes, sir. You see? That's just an imagination that you've got that you won't go. Mm -hmm. And that ain't gonna, that won't keep you from going. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Here comes along somebody says, listen, brother, I'm an agent. I don't believe in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You always say it's back that point. And that is the point of the man who wants to die, but that's the judgment. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, I don't believe in that. First thing you know, you see Hobbs or somebody else going along with you. <laughs> Singing, you understand? Uh -huh. Singing, you understand? Song and the eulogy. Uh -huh. <laughs> See what I mean? Over oh, unbelief to believe. You see what I'm talking about? Now look, it's you that's going to lose your soul. And let me tell you this. Now get this straight. The devil knows it. And he is just as hell scared as he can be. He's right. Now look what he did and what he said. When Yahshua come along, passed by them two. You see? And then mentally the rain. Folks, stuff that cut in the stuff that's right. on. She in the tomb. They run out. And they said, now, Yahshua of Nazareth, we know who you are, son of Yahweh. That's what they said. He said, listen, you shut your mouth and get out of that man. Did nobody say that? That's what he said. <laughs> and James, I had you reading it over there by the girl, or talking about that. You see, five, six, eight. He said to this. Believe in Christ. Now let's get it straight. Now the devil never did tell nobody. And he never will tell nobody. <coughs> that he don't believe in God or in Yahweh. You know that nobody. Now David did say, the fool has said in his heart, the fool has said in his heart, there is no he known of the that man the fool. <laughs> and, and really not responding. That's right. You see the point? <laughs> and James said, the devils, they fear and tremble. See, that's the reason why when I tell you, and I'm up here on this, uh, book, in this book of preaching, and as Paul said, in Romans 1 16 said now I'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe unto the Jew first and then unto the Gentile I tremble in my boots and listen devil don't you be trying to lie to me you're shaking in your <laughs> you know what I'm talking about you're shaking <laughs> Now, well, no, this on the earth only, but shake that invisible too. Everybody's shaking. That's right. You ain't fooling me, son, but I'll be that strong. That kid will have an See? Why don't you get up and tell him? I'll hold up your hand. You can have the pulpit. Yeah. See? Okay. No, you're a coward. That's what you are. Right. Mm -hmm. You're a liar. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? A coward and a liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see? 
Now, y'all ain't afraid of no part. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. But that, 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 that phrase, that term, you understand? Now, listen, get it straight. See, the words that Joshua to my side said in the sixth chapter of the second chapter, the words that I speak, they are spirit mm-hmm. and they are life. Mm-hmm. That is what raised Nazareth from the dead. Mm-hmm. That's what raised everybody from the dead. Mm-hmm. Right. Words that you speak. Ain't that right? right. right. I'm telling you. When he spake that and said, Lazarus, yeah. come forth. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Lazarus, come on out of there. Is that right? Yeah. right? And when he spake again, proving that he was the alone incarnated in a physical body, this out on the sea, mm-hmm. the tempest rose up. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And that bell swelled in the ocean, you understand? Mm-hmm. And all. And he just tossed that boat to and fro out there. And the boy hanging on the side of the boat, you understand? Mm-hmm. And he, they creeped up to him. You know, and they shouldn't say, say, uh, don't you care if we perish? <laughs> we don't care. We have something to do something, you understand? You don't care whether we perish or not. You ain't up here speaking for us. We just woke up and said, please be still. Now, you know nobody can't catch no wind in this place like that. The wind and the waves, that's the whole thing. Make that. Oh, I'll tell you. They're scared in their life. Right. Ain't that right? And when he said, let there be like there was. When he said, let so and so and so and so and so that's the water. And he said, word that is spirit. And he was the word. And don't tell me you don't trip. You ain't that boy. You ain't that boy. You see what I mean? Everybody down to it. Okay. See? Why not just go ahead and be honest with us? You see? Quite be honest with your own self. Yes. See? I ain't never preached about the danger of you. That's right. That's the reason why they're all divided and all the sections of the priest. That's right. You see? And they don't know anything about it. Jehovah's Witness included. Right. Right. See? Now the reason why I said that, I'm just, I'm real sorry. I can't be dragging a lot of books down here every time I come to school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See? But they, they bring me books all the time to look here. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about this? Then they put a script at the end of it. See? Just the time was shook Jehovah's Witness is set. Don't tell me now. I, I, if, if you insist, I'll bring the book down and read it. You bring it. You brought the book, didn't you? He said the, the time will soon come when the inhabitants of the earth see, will inherit eternal life mm-hmm. and live on this earth. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Now, he said the time was coming. <laughs> See, when the people of this earth place that believed in Christ would inherit eternal life. See? And live on this earth place. Is that what it said? Yeah. <laughs> is that what is that what it would say? Now that is not what Messiah said. That's right. <laughs> Well, Lord, go ahead. Now, you want me to tell you what he said? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and read. Tell him why you read. Uh, John eleven twenty five. John eleven twenty five. Joshua said unto her, Joshua is talking to Mary and Mark. I am the day. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. And the life. And the life. Now listen at it. He that believeth in me. He that believeth in me. So he worked it. Just a minute. We told you a while ago. Just ring from Adam to Moses. All right. oh, now. That's the to be and that promise 
the demon. The seed of that woman. You understand? That was through that serpent's finger. Yes. And it had to do uh, this evil. Isn't that right? Yes. This is the end. Yes. The, 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 that was to come. You see? Now, Mary and Martha said, the Yahweh was the Messiah. Said, now, if you had been here, <clears throat> my brother would not have died. And he said, I'm the resurrection and the life. You see? <clears throat> and that, 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 that the conversation was like this. So now if you had just been here, he this wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have died. But you're just you're too late now. Because <clears throat> see, by this time, he's thinking. Or in other words, mortification is saying, you see. His body's begin to decay. Now you follow what I'm telling you. Because now this is where I'm coming to. I'm coming right back here to this man's finals. And all of them that were called. And that comes to be. Down to the knee. Now that's what I'm after. See? I'm showing you how it works. And that's why you have to go back to it. You have to go right back where you lost out in. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. You see the point? Right. Go right on back in your mind. That's right. And on back in your conscience. Mm -hmm. You see? Everybody. Mm -hmm. See the point? Could I just say this? Yeah. Every sin that a man commits is without the body. That's right, Dan. Everybody is all right. And he did not die out there on this cross. Say nobody. All right. White folk, young folk, all right. folk didn't do it. No, sir. And not the first one going to be saved. No, there you go. That's right. That sounds strange, don't it? That doesn't kind of have this kind of strange. Now, did it? And if we just want to talk there, if we ever got that in our head, that was rent in this segregation thing. You see? They wouldn't be having all this problem with segregation, you know, desegregation, and all in the school. If we've got that in our head. Now, look, folks. See, we, he, too, has borne the image of the earth. Mm -hmm. But now we must bear the image of the heavens. <laughs> Everybody has to be changed. Nobody, no physical body. Now, he's not in the place now. Right. He's a quickening spirit. Do you understand? <coughs> now, people are walking around. A satanic spirit incarnated in them. And they're talking about, yeah, brother, uh, when I got the Holy Ghost, I speak with other tongues. Yeah, the spirit gives up. See, and they'll tell you something yeah. about when they, 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 they got the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now that's all the devil is doing, around mm -hmm. telling people what happened to him when he used the Holy Ghost. That's right. that's the Holy Ghost. That's right. And he's telling you to be like him. Mm -hmm. that's right. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you don't know the difference. Right. Because you won't go back here to the law yeah, and, and, stay, and find out what's going on. Mm -hmm. You see? Read. I am the resurrection. I am the life. resurrection and life. He that believeth in me. He that believeth in me. Though he were dead. Now though he oh listen. All of the death reign out of the world, though he were already dead. Mm -hmm. Yet shall he live. Yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth, liveth and, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me. And believeth in me. Shall never die. Shall never die. Believe thou this. Do you believe this? Mm -hmm. He's asking Mary, Mother. Mm -hmm. 
see. What did they say? She said unto him, Yea, I believe that thou art the Messiah, the Son of Yahweh, which should come into the world. And when she had so said, she went her way and called Miriam, her see. sister. Now, now, this is what I want you to see. He that believeth on me, though he was already dead, I'm talking about, I want you to see what I'm talking about. in the latter day. Yeah. You see what I'm talking about? And here he is standing in here in, the, in that latter day of that closing of that age, talking to Mary and Martha. <laughs> and Mary and Martha said in one instance that we know when Messiah comes, he will tell you all things. He said, I, I need to talk in the way to you. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> and he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Now, there wasn't a thing, you see, they, they could get over to. Say, yes, we know we'll see our brother in the last day, in the resurrection. See? Now, that's the same thing Jehovah's Witnesses are saying. Right. That's the reason why I call the attention to it. They say, uh, after a while, it was going to be dead. He's going to be resurrected and we're going to reign on this earth for a thousand years. Now that's called pre-millennium. That's right. Mm -hmm. See? <laughs> See? Now then, there's a post-millennium. Mm -hmm. Meaning this. That when Messiah comes, see, they that are alive, they and walking around. And the first chapter of 1 Thessalonians, 16th verse. And they that are dead, they will be resurrected from the dead. Mm -hmm. See? And then they will live and reign with him mm -hmm. on earth a thousand years. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. okay. Now it's what you call eternal life, you see, and then going ahead on. Mm -hmm. Now that's pre mother <clears throat> Now when you say pre, you mean before right. the earth is disintegrated or dissolved. Mm -hmm. right. See, when you say post, it means after, 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 after the disintegration. Right. Now, both of them are wrong. Right. Pre that's and post. That's right. That's right. <laughs> now, let me show you why, let me show you how you can tell that right quick. See? Or maybe you can see from here. Now, this is the most holy place. This is the holy place. This is the outer court. Now, the holy place, it's between, it, it between the most holy place and the outer court. We do read Matthew 20, 4, 15. You therefore shall see the abomination Now when you therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. Stand in the holy place. See, now a priest would be here. A pope would be here. Right. This is the intermediate are between a priest and a pope. Stand in the holy place. You see? Do you see what I mean? Now, by you stand in the holy place, that's why we're supposed to stay. Right. In the holy place. Right. See? Now, the spirit that is in us is on in the most holy place. The spirit That's right. and our body, since we've passed the sacrificial, yeah. you understand, since That's we've right. passed that, yeah. and he died once for that, yeah. he did this out with us, yeah. that we might wise out, uh -huh. 
Yeah. We've been regenerated yeah. and gone on in you, yeah. you see. And we stand in, 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 the, in the inner me, yeah. see. You understand? Uh -huh. Now look, when he is revealed from heaven, that's it. Yeah. Then you see, we will appear with him. Because you see, we will have a spirit body just like his. Right. And not a physical body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah. So it isn't the pre and it isn't the post. You see? It's a prayer. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's right. See? Yes. We're living and reigning with him right now. In the kingdom of Joshua the Messiah. The kingdom has already come. We've already been translated. We've already been resurrected from the dead. You understand? But your carnal mind and them satanic preachers are done. You see? That's the reason why Messiah says, He that believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that lives and believes in me shall never die. There is no possibility of nobody listening at me and get this one straight and take it home with you. Mm -hmm. See? Nobody that believes in Yahshua the Messiah is going to ever die. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. <laughs> That's a matter of his <laughs> I thought you said a while ago. See, sure, I didn't tell you that this thing here is already dead. That's right. You see? You see, you see what I mean? It's been dead <laughs> all that. And I just got through telling it ain't going nowhere. No no That's right. <laughs> see? But to the place and bring it came. Mm -hmm. Do you know where it comes from? Yes, yes, yes. You see? Now it always comes by talking about, yeah, my money she's gone on to heaven. Yeah. I tell you what you better do, I recommend you to go back down and look in the cemetery where you left. You always in mind too. That's right. Everybody you ever buried out there in the cemetery since you were done they <laughs> They, they, they stuck around pretty well, they haven't? Yeah. 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 And then, now listen here. That, 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 thou sawest not that's right. that's that body that, that shall, shall be. be. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. Then some food, so say, Paul will say. Then when what body do they come? come. <laughs> <laughs> listen, brother, if you just go and get your sense, if, you, if you haven't got no sense, just go and get yourself some peas or some beans or some corn or anything. Go on there and hang it on. You see what happens. You see what I mean? So also is the resurrection. Alright. You won't be that that you find. Did you see what I mean? No, indeed. Yeah, you like an old man, all wrinkled up, casing, all bald up here, all full of rumors, and you understand me, some broken bones and all. Now you gonna get up here and the red record. <laughs> 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 you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Now, so that you can see now, I want, I want to make it good and clean. See, when you plant some beans that have reached maturity, See, then it goes back, that's a young thing. Yeah, that's right, that's right. It's restored. Right. Isn't that right? <laughs> you see what I mean? It ain't that same old man planted out there all wood. Isn't that right? Yeah. Now it's just going to have them things up there. See, now if that's what it's going to be, if that's what it's going to be, oh, you boy. might as well quit and that's quit that's now. <laughs> That's right. You see? Because you know this thing you got hanging to you. <laughs> you see? You see, if it's dead, that's the deal is. Yeah, if it's dead, that's the deal is. You don't want to wait for me. See, you just might real quick. Yes, indeed. 
Some of us would even rather swap it off. <laughs> Some kind of a change. <laughs> Do something. They've been hunting for the fashion of youth and all those things. But now, let me get on the subject. <laughs> he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. You see, now what? There's a part of you that will never die. That's the part, Williams. Yeah. That's the part, Bishop. Mm -hmm. That's the God part of you. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Man is threefold. He's no one psychic and some. He's soul, body, and spirit. God is spirit. You heard me. Mm -hmm. okay. And listen, for your information, he never did die. And never will. No, sir. That's right. That's right. No, this is God's part of the nigger out here on this cross. Not Yahweh. Yahweh was manifested in that body. That was a sacrificial body for Yahweh to manifest himself. That's why I did that. He resurrected. Son of the natural and raised him in cross region. And went right straight back to where it comes from. That's right. All right. And is now in all of us. You see? And that's the part of us that's not going to die. That's it. You understand? You see? That's it. Now, he went to the grave, the cemetery. He said, Nazareth, he better had said that that way. See? Lazarus, come forth. <clears throat> See? Now, I remember there's some other folks buried out there in that cemetery mm -hmm. beside Lazarus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We told you that death brings mad on down. Mm -hmm. You see? And get some Lazarus. See, now, wait a minute. See, he knew his name, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, he didn't get it mixed up. Now, I'll say this. See? I'll say this. Now, wait a minute. Here he is now. He's dead and buried. He's taken with the resurrection and the life. Is that right? Yeah. Matthew 27, 52. Read it and read it quick. I want to show you what happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just the and one the grave was open. See? And the grave was open. And many bodies of the saints. And many bodies of the saints. Which left a road. See, there he is, going on back down mm -hmm. to the heaven. Going on and coming on down. Mm -hmm. Through that, see? Okay. See? And many of the bodies of the saints which rose and came out of the grave and came out of the grave after, after not before, right. but after he resurrected. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? And went into the holy city. And went into the holy city. And appeared unto men. And appeared unto men. Right? right. You see that now? Yes. All children, if we could just yes. see this. See, even before his death. If we could just see him here in this transfiguration, if we could just see him there, you see, and, and after his resurrection, see, many of them that come out, to, to say, that word is, the lady just sent you to come. You know, I ought to have you to read one more verse, and that's Hebrew 9, 27, for this reason. You see? I look for, now listen to what I'm going to say, Williams. See? This death was appointed upon this man. Uh, this man died out there and paid the bill. Yes. The debt. Right. He died for the whole thing. Now this is what I'm saying now. Now he's resurrected from the dead. See? Paul puts it like this. That death has been abolished. <clears throat> and immortality brought to life through his resurrection. Right. You say, you understand? Yeah. No. Has you got it? Yes. And as it is appointed unto me. Now listen. And as it is appointed unto me. Once to die. Once. Not, not a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, baby. Uh, uh, won't, you, won't you please die? 
Won't you please uh, run your old man, kill your old man, uh, uh, gross your old man, won't you please die? Uh, this point that a man wants to die. But what? But after this. But the after judge. this. The judge. The judge. Now look up here at me. See? He died. Now, we are after death. That's right. This is life, eternal life, yes. after death. Yes. All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. See? Job was when you're talking about looking down on it, will soon come. I don't want a man down in the ground. Show you. Yeah. Some enjoy eternal life. <laughs> Right now, yes, in the kingdom of Joshua the Messiah, and I, the real me, will never die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you take old Kimmy to the cemetery. Yes, you understand? <laughs> I'm not talking about that, fellow. Yes, you see what I mean? You get it? Yeah. Did you all get in here? Yes, yes, yes. Y'all get in. Now I wanted to take you over there in Exodus 32, 32, and 35. I'm not going to be worried with it. Read when you go home. You see? And you'll find that that he said that whosoever told most when Israel has seen it. Now let's get these words straight. When Israel had sin. This is what Yahweh said to him. I'm showing you why his name, name is in that book. Mm -hmm. Just like he knew Moses. Mm -hmm. Just like he knew Isaiah. Yes. Just like he knew Ezekiel. Yes. Just like he knew everyone. Yes. He knows you by your name. Yes. You understand that you have. Mm -hmm. But that is not going to be the real heavenly name. Yes. That okay. nobody. Yes. You understand that no name nobody can give you. Uh, yeah. Him himself. <laughs> That's going to be everybody's name. Because this is everybody's old name. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's going to his family. That's right. Everybody's going to bear his name. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. You got that straight? Yes, sir. See, you get it? You see? Now you told Moses that whosoever sinneth against me, Yahweh said this. Now, you see the Pope is sitting over here mm -hmm. talking about excommunicating somebody. He told Moses that whosoever sinned it against him, mm -hmm. he would block them out yeah. of the book, yes. which he had. Which, now, get this straight. Mm -hmm. Get this straight. Uh, you know the difference between present tense and after tense? Yeah. Now, that's what I was trying to tell you. Mm -hmm. See, he said he would block him out of the book which he had already written. That's the reason why I told you every bit of the sperm that yes. ever took on shape it, mm -hmm. see, was mm -hmm. present and accounted for with you yes, sir. before ever <laughs> came into the world. You understand? And he got your name. He got your name. Mm -hmm. You understand? And he knows what you're going to do, what you're going to be, and what not. You see what I mean? You see that now? And he knows you by name. See, somebody thinks, well, I'm too insignificant. <laughs> see, I ain't got no reputation. You see, I, I'm, a, I'm a nobody. You see, you're wrong about that. Right. Mm -mm. No, indeed. There ain't no big shots and big eyes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah. We will be as the angels. Mm -hmm. We like to talk about that mighty angel, uh, Michael, ain't that right? Uh, Michael won't have nothing on me. <laughs> you see what I mean? Yes, indeed. You see, somebody wants to be promoted on up. Get to be Pope. You understand? And all that kind of thing. Jacking you up, you know. Typing you up. You see? And Paul said that in Romans 9, 22. What if Yahweh? Listen to this. Willing to show his power. Pour out his wrath on the vessels 
Get it to destruction. Amen. Do a thief of pride. You know what I mean? I mean, these preachers, these things that don't know how to go back here to the law, don't know the difference between one that's been faced and the other, you see, don't understand the purpose. You understand? They're vessels that are finished to destruction. All right, now. That's right. See? You see? And when he's revealed from heaven, you understand? That old boy that you thought was a mighty preacher. You understand? He'll be standing around crying. You understand? Lord, haven't we done many things, wonderful things in your name? And he'll say unto them, Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. And they said, That's your, you talking about soul and cry when mama died and when my sister died when my father died you know that? when my mother died all the tears the body the tears is shed cause mama gone you understand yeah. you talk about sorrow you don't know you don't need to know the name you know what sorrow is you see what I'm talking about? You have to go on those people over there in Vienna and mm -hmm. other places that have starved to death, giving the children. Mm -hmm. You understand? You have compassion on but you don't know something until you have missed it. Mm -hmm. See, there's no more chance yes. for you. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you have fucked up against Rad up against mm -hmm. the word. You've been deceived by these hypocrite preachers mm -hmm. going around telling you to do the thing that was done mm -hmm. in the other dispensation. Mm -hmm. Telling you, say, that Jesus said, it's hot, and if you eat this bread and you drink of this cup, you show forth my death and suffering until I come. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that he was. Galatians 4, 4, 6, mm -hmm. he was born under the law. Mm -hmm. You understand? He lived under the law. Yes, he fulfilled. Yes. Listen at me. You listen at me. He did every time away with everything. Yes. Now, that's the reason why I say it's yes. not the natural life. You understand? All them carnal, water baptism, and Lord's Supper, and everything. You see? And you don't even know that you're not reading in the New Testament. You're reading the biography. You don't know what he's doing. With. John 5, 39 says, you search the scriptures. Yeah. John says, well, I'm back to the law and to the testimony so you know what I'm doing. And they say, if he gets the truth, and here he is standing up saying, he fulfilled. Right. You see what I'm talking about? And they say he's instituted. You understand? And the priest standing up there laying a little wafer on somebody's tongue, and he's Dapping his eyes and swatting, you understand? <laughs> Rubbing his belly and talking about it, 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 eternal life, you understand? Some great juice, you understand? And it never was nothing to it. No. Your conscience, yourself, will tell you you ought to be ashamed of yourself. That's right, Ain't that That's right? The truth. And when Joshua stood over there in the synagogue in Cape Pernum, this is what he said mm -hmm. to the Jews in that synagogue. He said, except you eat my flesh and drink of my blood, you shall have no life in the heart, say, who can hear? Ain't that right? Is that what he said? He said, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? You're talking about cannibalism. Ain't that right? But the prophecy said that he would speak with power. I'll be through here just as soon as I bring this point out. Sir. And that said, the prophecy said that he would come uh, to stand and lift another tongue. Ain't that right? He'd speak in parabolical sense. And they said, how can he give us his flesh to eat? Ain't that right? And so then, not only that, the Jews in the synagogue of that Capernaum, even his own disciples, they went to pull in his coattails and said, and they said to them, said, will you go also? And they went all the way, and they didn't come back no more. They're like a lying hypocrite. Go out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because say you don't believe in the Lord, so you don't believe in my baptism. You know what it's all about. Then they gone, just like his disciples did over there at the front. And then there was no record of where they bothered him anymore. Right. And, so, and right. even his own disciples looked at him and said, you go also. You know what I'm saying? Pete said, look here, say, you only have the words of eternal life. There's no bad for us to go. Ain't that right? And then he explained it. He said, the flesh prophet is done. The words that I speak 
Once you dare spirit and they're alive. Ain't that right? Now, here's the point. I want to get you to see that night, since they understood that night, that night when he administered that supper. Ain't that right? They understood when he took the cup and said, this cup is my blood in the new covenant. Ain't that right? This is my body. Uh, which is broken for you. They understood that he was speaking. And this was the words that he was speaking. That was spirit. And there was life. And there was no uh, fuss and fight about it. Because they understood it. Ain't that right? You see, and it was the words that he was speaking. You see what I'm talking about? And say, listen here. Let me tell you something else about that same thing. And I also sat there in my seat and look at it and wonder about it. You understand? And that night that he put up that blood and that water, he rolled up and at the table and he girded himself about with the towel and began to wash the disciples' feet. Ain't that right? Well now, why is it every time the priest comes up here to minister the Lord's Supper, why don't he do like Jesus done after he got some supper? He goes up and girded himself about him with the towel and began to wash the disciples' feet. Take the whole bin or let it all go. Ain't that right? Because you got to have the blood, and you got to have the water, and you got to have the spirit. Ain't that right? And so now, he is the word of God himself. And when he was washing the disciples' feet, he said to Peter, he said, you don't know what I'm doing now, but you tell no hair after Peter didn't know if he was washing his feet. Ain't that right? But that was the word of God. Him washing his feet, that was the washing of regeneration by the word of God. You get what I'm talking about? We generation by the word of God. Ain't that right? Now here's what I want to show you. You just look at these charts and you see over here on these charts, here yeah, resurrected. And you know good and well that something was before he died. Ain't that right? And you know he washed the disciples' feet. Ain't that right? And after he washed the disciples' feet, he rose up and sang a hymn. Ain't that right? What well, sang the song of Moses? And then he went on out there and crossed over the Lucasia and entered all into the garden of Gethsemane. I tell you, he's burning down. But that lost step of the time. Ain't that right? And then we know just a doctor. Every step is made. Ain't that right? We know why he's got to go in the garden. We know what's got to happen in the garden. We know why. Yo! In the beginning, he scooped out the little keys and find the cross. Ain't that right? We know why. He put the garden of the seven in our tent because he got to go in the garden of the seven. Just like Adam was in the garden of Eden. That's what I'm saying. I want you to see a brother. What's no play of mine? And I want you to be encouraged and be willing to suffer yeah. all the evil verse and play that yeah. the devil, you don't see <laughs> That's right. right. But here's a card and a point that I wanted to get you to see. A covenant is the force that the men are dead. It didn't come up there. That foot washed and that fat foot up. It didn't come up there until after his death and after he resurrected and that lady descended on into heaven. It's that right. Now I'll show you the same thing down here in Egypt. Down here in Egypt. They went on to the Red Sea, and they went on up here to Mount Sinai, and they had to wash their clothes, and he got right, he got up around the mountain, and on the picture, and he spoke to her. Now, say the thing, he's up until they got up there, around the mountain, until that, in other words, the thing was affected. Then he got up there, and he spoke from Mount Sinai, to become affected, and he began to shake, and Joshua by the Messiah, standing all in heaven, and on the fifty for the day of Pentecost, when he poured out, Spirit and that right, that first that left that castle and that one fight washed the disciples' feet. And that right, they become a fight. And they were fighting with the washing of regeneration. Right. And they were renewed. And that right, after they had a man. And that right, yeah. they were quick. And uh, they were resurrected from the dead state of sin and joy. They were translated on into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. All right. That was a doozy. Uh, that was a good lecture. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, what we're going to do next Tuesday, which is the, uh, whatever, next, the 13th? The 13th, uh, we can take questions about this. I know there may be some questions about this lecture. So we can do that, and we'll just play it by ear. Uh, and then uh, the Tuesday after that, the 20th, we're going to go to the other Dr. Kinley lectures. There was a few we didn't do because they were longer than class periods. They're like over two hours long. So we're going to split them up and uh, just do, do them in two parts. And then maybe we can do an hour, one class, and then have a discussion and then do the next part, you know, uh, the following class. So anyway, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed it.
All praises to Yashua Messiah. We hold classes on Zoom on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Sundays from 11.30 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will now close with doxology, which is taken from the last two verses of the book of Jude. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory, majesty, dominion, and power for all times, now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.